Dr. Peter Kravorkian, who practices in Westwood, is that correct? Westwood, Westwood Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes, the most wonderful office I have ever seen. Oh, you're very sweet. Visiting. No, absolutely. And um, Peter is here today to chat with us. We're very excited to have you. And let's talk about some of the good stuff that's been going on with the IFCO. Oh my God, IFCO is doing amazing, making an impact on letting people connect to the fundamental ideals of chiropractic, of straight chiropractic, of subluxation-centered chiropractic. Yeah. Uh, I was just in Sao Paulo, Brazil, uh, with at an IFCO workshop that we did with Liam, myself, um, a number of other people put together by Seth Levine from Massachusetts. He had connections in Brazil, and there were 80 people who practiced in a very different paradigm of chiropractic than how we know chiropractic needs to be practiced. And they were lit up, excited. Since that weekend, which was like uh, maybe five weeks ago, I get no less than a half a dozen texts or emails from people in Sao Paulo on how that weekend changed their lives. And that's I think that's awesome. pretty much a statement of what's happening wherever IFCO is going, whether it's uh, at our summits, uh, the most recently in Scotland, yes. the one that's going to be coming up in the Dominican Republic. Uh, IFCO is on the move, making changes and letting people up across the world. So IFCO is really international now. I mean, oh, no going question. to Brazil, being in Scotland, and now last weekend I know um, Dr. Shane Walker was in Norway right. there, so we're really international. Well, as a matter of fact, I think the world sees chiropractic outside the United States, sees the IFCO more of what the IFCO is than in the United States. Yes. As a matter of fact, many chiropractors in the United States say, what's IFCO? And you go outside the country, it's like, oh my God, IFCO is changing my life. Of course you got to be part of it. Yeah. Great. One, one of the main reasons why I, I love being around Pete, everywhere I have marked on my calendar, all the events I want to go to, he's either running it, he's there, he's organizing it in some fashion, and, and so that's why I, I really like being around Pete and I call him my chiropractic hero. Well, I like that. Yeah. But, you know, maybe, maybe I could do like Leo. You know, only instead of saying that you are a big deal, I like start my own fan club. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, how about no. this? <laughs> Liam, Liam is a big deal, and you're the real deal. Oh, I like how that. that? I like the that. Real deal. Real deal. Right? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, welcome to the real deal, Peter yes. Kavorkian. So why don't you tell the folks who are watching who might not be IFCO members why is it important to join the IFCO? Okay. Well, why is it important to join? You mean they're not already IFCO members? There might be some out there that are not. Okay. Join the IFCO for a lot of reasons. One, to support the movement, support the ideals and the vision and the direction of IFCO. IFCO is the only organization that has remained steadfast in saying what we do is locate and correct spinal subluxations. That's all we do. That's what we focus on. You're not wrong for doing anything else, but we are going to ensure that subluxation correction stay sacred as the primary focus of what chiropractors do. And we need your support, everybody's support. We need it energetically and we need it financially. So to not be a member, you're not supporting the fundamental tenets upon which our entire profession is built. Now more than ever, we need people, we need groups and groups to come together, not as an army, but as a collective consciousness to begin to make a planetary shift in how people see their bodies, how people see their lives, how the profession sees chiropractic, and to keep what we know is the sacred trust alive. We need you as a member of the IFC. If you're not a member, it's how much is it? It's nothing. It's, it's very cheap. $500? That's for the doctor. full ruling membership. Full ruling That's membership. the highest, yes. So for $500, not even the amount that an average new patient brings into a chiropractic office to ensure that chiropractic, as we know it, continues to thrive as a service to the world. Yes. We have a saying, you know, donate something, whether it's your time, your talent, or your treasure. Pete embodies that, all three. And I know your wife is in practice too, with you. Uh, why don't you share what's a couple of stories about being in practice with your wife? Because I don't have a, a wife in practice with me. Maybe one day I will, I don't know. You never know. Yeah, but what's that like? It has been a blessing. I mean, Patty embodies chiropractic and practice exactly the same way that I do. Matter of fact, when we were first in practice, there would be patients who would be in the room, they'd ask me a question, and I'd give an answer. I'd walk out of the room, come back, or I would be adjusting them. Patty would walk into the room, 
And I said, you know, ask Patty that same question. They asked the same question, she gave the exact same answer. She said, do you guys rehearse this? <laughs> so having somebody who's totally aligned philosophically, technically, conceptually, and to be your life partner, it's a blessing. That's it amazing. It really, is, it really is a blessing. So, you know, just the same way as when you have a candle and you have another candle and you bring them together, the flame of the two candles actually is brighter than the candles individually. So the blessing of being able to practice with your spouse is that you're able to light people up. Right. In a, in a more powerful, even more powerful. I look forward to that day, possibly. Can you tell us about one of your favorite moments in practice? No, no. That's right. We, we've just determined, Dr. Schubel, that that you are... Are we live? We, we are, are live. live. Hi, are good morning. Real deal, <laughs> but the, as, as I, it has been confirmed, I am the real deal. We just confirmed that. That is true. Uh, Dr. Kevorkian is the real deal. He's the chairman of the board of Sherman College. and uh, You can look uh, at everybody oh, while ah, you're talking. Hello. Here, here. Hey, uh, uh, you're uh, blocking uh, the camera. Right in front of the right camera. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's been great talking to you this morning. I look forward to uh, spending the afternoon here. Yes. Uh, I'm on t uh, from 12 to 6. <laughs> <laughs> in your mind, you definitely are. <laughs> That's right. We're going to be speaking with Liam at 4 p.m. later on today and with uh, Ed Cordero. They're going to be having a great conversation, too. Thank you. Have Thank a good nice day. Day. We'll see uh, you yeah. later, Liam. So, uh, Pete, um, now I know that uh, you on the board of Sherman College, you're on the board of the ISCO, uh, and you have uh, a huge practice up in Massachusetts. Now, when you are in practice, you're focusing solely on the practice, but, but when you're at these other events, how, how do you manage to keep things so organized, and, and but you're involved with so many different events? That, that, that's a challenge, because I like to get involved myself, but I know a bunch of things, and I find time is hard to balance those things. Great question. Um, and not only that, I'm on the board of the ICPA, the Pediatric Associate Teach for them. Uh, but here in New Beginnings, so there are a lot, of, a lot of different hats that I wear. Uh, the only way you do it, number one, it's all one and the same. You know, it's all chiropractic. And it's all about chiropractic. It's all about subluxation correction. I said, so whether I'm here at New Beginnings, or I'm teaching for the ICPA, or uh, I'm an IFCO summit, or I'm asked to speak someplace, it's all chiropractic. So. The, the, the mind doesn't really need to change. I'm talking the same talk, whether I'm talking to a chiropractor or I'm talking to a patient. Uh, my intention is driven the same way. So it's really organizing the time and creating the team around you to make it happen. Yeah, I could say my office team is phenomenal. They're able to juggle things and make things work for me within my schedule. Uh, and whether it's the coverage docs that are there or the paperwork that needs to get done or managing the systems that are there. So my practice has got its own lifeblood. Uh, each organization, IFCO, growing in its organizational structure and its ability to allow its influence to go out into the world and to ensure our needs are dealt with, whether it's making sure the brand has got the appropriate stuff for the display or to make sure that the uh, central office has mailed out the necessary information as leaders. So it's, it's like all the pieces just got to keep coming together and you keep working and make it happen. So if I'm hearing correctly, it, it, it's definitely a team that needs to be able Absolutely. to help out. They're, they're just as valuable. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just like you guys yeah. pulling this together for us. I just have to walk up here and I get to talk and do my thing. You guys made it happen. So we're all each doing our little bit. And as you said, you either give your energy or you give your money or right. both. Yeah, or both. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great. Any last thoughts? We're, we're going to wrap up with Peter in a couple moments. Well, I did want to know if you had a favorite practice moment, uh, like one little sparkle moment question. that you will always cherish. Oh my God. There's so there many, are right? There of them. Okay, the one that just popped into my mind Pull one out. That, that, that you mentioned. Um, okay, there are two. Okay. okay. We'll allow for two. Okay, there are two. Okay. One was uh, recognizing the power and the impact that uh, I have and Patty have made into the, into the world. And the other one was a, an awakening moment in my life. And uh, so I'll tell you the first one. There was a child who came in um, about three, four years old who had nystagmus as eyes were crossed. Yeah. And the parents had seeking counsel from many specialists, uh, ophthalmologists, optometrists, special glasses, and the solution was going to be surgery. Uh, somebody said, why don't you take your son to see a chiropractor, winds up in our office, 
Patty does their initial visit, explains what's going on. And subsequent to that, he starts care. But because we did our job, the whole family started care. Two, uh, two other uh, siblings, the mom, the dad, they all began to care. Uh, four, five, six weeks into care, you, we think the kid's doing better. His cranium's doing better. His spine is definitely less subluxated. Seems to be walking better, tracking better. Goes for his medical evaluation. The medical doctor said, I've never seen this happen before. This is the, this type of condition, making this kind of resolve. It, you just never seen it happen. It's, it's a miracle. So the mother comes in, shares with us that story, how uh, family members are seeing a difference in, in, in the boy. I says, it's a miracle what can happen when you let life do what life does. Yeah. And she, she looked at me, she says, you know, that's not the real miracle. I said, what do you mean? This is the real miracle. She points over at our other two kids, are them. They have the benefit of getting chiropractic care and there are problems that they're never going to have because they had gotten their spine checked. Wow. As it's, as that's like, wow, that's that like She understood that. The silent miracles. You yes. know, the, the miracles that yeah. are happening with every adjustment, independent of whether we see them or not. So that's, that's one great. that came up. The second one, a little girl, Chelsea, comes in. She's about uh, maybe a year and a half, two years old. And uh, as I'm adjust she comes into the office. She'd been under care since she was like six months old. This day, she's a little bit listless. Breathing's really, really shallow. Definitely has some signs and symptoms of, of you know, a flu-like kind of thing. And the mom brings her in to have her spine checked, make sure she's connected. She's on the table, and I'm checking her. She says, Peter, what do you think's going on? And I said, you know, her body's just probably fighting an infection. And as the words came out of my mouth, I said, there's something wrong with this. I said, this beautiful child, this beautiful creation that I've taken care of since you know, infancy, is gonna fight. There's a war going on. Where did that mindset of saying that we're fighting disease, fighting a disorder come from? It came from our own mindset, our own patriarchal viewpoint of dominance, control, of war. We, we view the immune system as a, as a combative phenomena. That moment was a shifting in my consciousness in recognizing the beauty and the depth truly of our philosophy, in recognizing that it doesn't need to be a war that what life is really about is embracing, yeah. is, is embracing any situation, phenomena, as being the absolute perfect thing to be occurring. And there isn't a war going on in that body, it's life happening in that body, to adapt to the world, to learn about the world, to learn about an experience. And there's no symptom, no disorder, no, nothing that we call disease that we need to fight or destroy. It's allowing the body to understand the world better, to allow whatever is occurring to be the optimal expression of life in that being. So those are the two magical moments Thank in my you life. so much for sharing that. No that was wonderful. That is why I love being around Peter Gordon and just coming to these events and hearing him speak. Uh, on Thursday, I heard you speak up on stage and how to have a uh, 100 practice member a day in your practice. And he was on there with uh, Jim Dubell and uh, Bobby Tarantino, Bobby Tarantino Skip and George. Skip George, all these guys are going to be speaking later with us uh, today. So that, that's going to be fun. Great conversations, uh, Pete. Thank you so much for stopping my by. My pleasure. We love having you. Guys you. Right this is a blast. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good. If it goes great, and if you guys like it and want more, uh, let us know. Interact with us on Twitter. Uh, we'll answer yes. questions on Twitter. That Twitter feed is hashtag IFCO. And you can get on to our website, uh, www.ifcocairo.org slash live. Uh, thanks, Pete, for stopping by. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy the rest. Thank you. Yeah.